pretty funny face masks. Good Monday morning. Once again, Chris Noosh here. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me again this week. And this week, the first thing I need to do is I need to take photographs of all the things that I finished last week, of which this was one of them. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And then I got a whole list of things that I want to do. A couple of them are commissiony things. Um, I'm trying to get permission to share one of those. The other one I can't share. And then I've got two t-shirt blocks that I designed last week that I would like to carve out. Let me show you what those are. This Megalodon piece. It's a Loch Ness monster with a shark fin. And this Viking. So I want to carve out those two t-shirt blocks. I'm probably, let's be real, I'm probably not going to get to both of those this week. And I have another idea. I just sketched this out real quick last night. But I want to make another mask for myself because you can never in these in this environment you can't have too many masks. So I sketched this out real quick last night for for a mask to put right over there, right over my chomper. So I'm gonna carve that out this week as well, and uh, maybe maybe print some fabric for for a mask for me, and maybe for a mask for other people. We'll see. That's what you can look forward to this week. But first, I'm gonna take some photos. Do you want to go outside with me? Check out how I take photos. It's kind of boring. But I will show you if you're interested. Boring things could be interesting too. All right, I'm outside. It's such a beautiful day. It's like like two degrees above room temperature out here. It's so nice, so pretty, so quiet. Um, but it is a kind of sunny day. So I've set up my very high tech picture taking surface. It's just a piece of paper taped to a board with a nail through it. So I set that up. Um, I'm in a shady spot and that gives me the best ability to uh, get the true colors. And I've got it on a white background so I can find the true white balance when I take the photo. I've got three pieces of photograph. I'm gonna go with the panda first. Panda, panda, panda. I just hang it on the nail. Come back to the camera. Yeah, lower it, get it to the right size. You want the camera like right at eye level with the piece. Turn the camera on. And this is just a little digital uh, point and shoot camera. Nothing too fancy. You want it as close to the piece as possible to get the most detail, uh, but not super close where you're, uh, it's getting blurry. And then I always use a tripod so it doesn't get, so the I'm not touching the camera when the uh, picture thing so nothing gets blurry again. And then I use the timer, two seconds, push the button, picture taken. So I'm just gonna do that for the next two pieces and then we'll be, I'll be able to go inside, put them on my computer and edit them. Um, and that's super easy to edit. All I do is go to the levels and then click that for the white balance and it comes out perfectly. All finished, now let's take it all back inside. Photos are taken and I want to mention one thing. Um, get asked a little bit about the business side of things, but the business side is a little boring at times. But um, this is a, just a real quick thing uh, on how I price my work. So I, I basically, I just measure the size of it, length times width, and I multiply that, if it's a real simple piece, by 100, oh, by 100, <laughs> I wish. No, it's not that much. I multiply it by $1.50 per square, you know, by square inch. And for more complicated pieces, I do it from in, in between $1.75 and $2 a square inch. So that's a real simple way on how I price my work. Everyone's gonna be slightly different. You, and that's gone up. I started probably 10 years ago at about $1 a square inch and I've raised it to about $1.50. How's I get better and better and better at what I do? So prices go up as you become more competent. That's how I price my work. That's how I price my work. Hey yo! All right, so I'm getting all the stuff ready to draw out onto the board. I got permission to share this commission, which I sketched out last night. It's a loon with a little baby loon on its back. So I'm gonna draw this out onto the board and then I'm gonna get those two t-shirts ready to carve too. Let's go.
finished drawing out all these little uh, blocks and getting them ready to carve. I got the the loon and the two t-shirt blocks, and I also have the two little blocks cut for um, my mask carving blocks that I want to do. I've got the dude version drawn out. Now I got to get a lady version drawn. Dude version there. Sketch and lady version now. Let's see what I come up with. Got a couple ideas. Sketched it all out. It's actually what 11 o'clock now just before four minutes until 11 o'clock and I've sketched out my two little sketches and I've tested them out and they look pretty good you can't really hear me can you hear me a little bit muffled there but they look pretty good so I think I'm gonna carve these out yeah I'm gonna carve them out and then uh, hopefully they work pretty good what do you think think this is gonna work Oh yeah, let me show you the other one too. Woohoo! I'm so pretty! Yeah, yeah. You like my lip ring? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna carve these out now. little after one o'clock now on uh, I guess Tuesday morning and I'm finished carving the the man version of my mask face which is pretty close to actual size how does that look all finished all finished can you even hear me but it's done can't wait to print these and see what it actually looks like wrapped around a face but it should be pretty cool but now it's time for bed I can get, so I can get working again tomorrow and I'll carve this one at some point this week too. Tuesday morning. I just got back from the post office after a late night of carving last night. And uh, I think what I'm going to do today is to finish carving out this one so I can print them when I get some ink out. They're there on next to each other. Woohoo! So I'm gonna carve that one out and then after that I'm gonna dive real deep into my commission pieces. Gotta get working on those. Gotta get working on, on those. The two face back <laughs> the two face mask blocks are all carved up and all done. Um, I quite enjoy how they came out. The the guy has a lot more texture than the girl, um, but that's good. I like the freckles and the nose ring and all the other stuff and the hair on the edge is fun. 
Now I'm going to start working on the commissions. Like I said, I'm going to do. I'm going to start working on the one that I can't share first because that one is significantly larger and it's just going to take more time. So hopefully I can rejoin you guys sometime tomorrow. But the rest of Tuesday is going to be commission work in time and carving on that 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 big boy. Good Wednesday morning. Marty's hiding underneath that bag and B's playing with her. Now that B and Marty are done playing, I can uh, start my day. I ordered a couple t-shirts this morning and now I'm getting ready to start carving on the second commission. I stayed up real late last night. All finished, all done, handful of hours doing that. And now I'm starting to carve this, the loon carving. <sighs> Hopefully I can start painting tomorrow. Woot, woot. This loon carving is all finished. Um, I did something slightly different with this piece than I typically do. Um, I, I gave it kind of like a, a recessed background. And it's, I've, I've done it one other time. What I'm talking about is with uh, this area here. I didn't put a black line here. So it's going to be all black in here and then this well, the, the raised areas are gonna be black in this area. And then here is just gonna be a flat, well, well-painted flat area. And I didn't put a black edge there. I think it's gonna look pretty nice. Just give it a nice little color background, make it pop off a little bit more too. And it let me do a little of these elements, floating elements that I wouldn't have normally been able to do otherwise. I needed some wood to kind of bring those and hold it all together. So this is all finished up. I've got, a, I got four little tiny carvings that I want to carve today too. Um, and then I can paint these tomorrow. Hokey dokey, hokey dokey, hokey dokey. I got the two little carvings all finished up. The little, a little mammoth and a hand. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start painting. I was carving these as a little thing to distract myself until I wanted to start painting. Not quite there yet, but I need to start painting. So I'm gonna start painting the, uh, the two commission pieces and then these two pieces right now. So I'm probably gonna paint the big one first. So I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. All right, Thursday. My hair's all messed up. I don't have much of it, but it is messed up. And it's because it's, it's too long. It likes to stand straight up, but I'm not, I'm not gonna go get a hat. I'm just gonna sit like this because I'm inside, it's okay. I do have to paint the loon that I carved yesterday. I painted the big commission that I'm working on. Got that all done, it's sitting over there. You won't be able to see it. You can't see it, you can't see it. Quit asking. Good gravy. I'm painting this today. I've also got a little mammoth that I'm painting today. And I painted uh, part of, but not all of the hand. I work on, the, on those three things and then I'll be eating today. Painting, finished, done. 
the uh, the loon is finished. The little uh, hand and the little mammoth are finished. A couple things that I like about the loon is I uh, I threw some colors in with the like the dark gray. It's well, it's actually like a dark gray purple, but um, I threw some green in there too to kind of break things up a little bit. I think the colors came out really nice, real muted, but also real nice at the same time. So that's finished. And then also these two little guys are finished. So now the best part, the fun part, inking them up. Inking complete, finished, done. So I've got the loon, I've got the woolly mammoth, and I've got the hand all finished up inking. And it's only Thursday afternoon. Probably not even three o'clock yet, maybe it is. What time is it? 1.41 p.m. Not too bad. That gives me uh, a little bit of time for the rest of the week to do other things. I can carve one of the t-shirt blocks that I got ready earlier. I could print my face mask, but I'm still uh, still waiting for a package so I could print those. I probably won't. I'm probably just gonna sit and carve until that package comes today. So maybe I'll print tomorrow's hoping to have it dry and ready to go and sewn up so I could show you, but maybe I'll have that done by Sunday so I can uh, at least show you a picture of what it looks like. I just finished cleaning up the studio space, vacuuming a little bit, getting everything out of the way and clean up mostly just getting rid of the wood chips that were all over this table. What I'm gonna do for the rest of the afternoon is I'm just gonna sit here and relax and carve out this t-shirt block, which you can't really see, but it is the Megalodon t-shirt block with the Loch Ness Monster one and a shark fin. I'm just gonna relax and carve this out. I'm not gonna film it. Like I said, I'm just gonna sit here and relax and carve and, and listen to some things and just relax, so. Here we go, Friday once again. Uh, man, a lot happened this week. I got a lot done, which is great. Uh, last night I carved out the new t-shirt block, the Plesiosaur, wearing the shark fin, and it's called Megalodon, question mark. Today though, I am going to print these two blocks. I, I got my fabric order this morning. I can print these now. So I cut out a couple of uh, seven by nine squares, rectangles and I'm gonna print those out at the moment. So here we go, just uh, gotta do it a couple more times on a couple different color fabrics. And we'll have some pretty funny face masks. I'm gonna let those dry right there. And uh, I'm gonna try should be dry tomorrow. I'm gonna to try to make one of them tomorrow and put in some of that footage after this, but this vlog is over. It's done. So hopefully at the end of this, you'll see me sewing up one of those face masks and uh, wearing it at the end. But thanks for hanging out with me this week. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next week. Thanks, bye.